Good afternoon. It is such a deep honor to be with you all today. I direct a global resource called the Community Toolbox at the World Health Organization Collaborating Center for Community Health and Development at the University of Kansas. Our efforts focus on documentation of and building supports for helping people work together to bring about change and improvement in their communities. Several assumptions undergird our work. First, justice requires altering conditions that affect health and equity. This takes people working together in partnership across different sectors in the community to bring about progress. And there is a need for capacity among those with passion to make a difference. And calls for change must include supports for doing so. So what do we mean by partnership? For the purposes of today's conversation, we will define a community partnership as any multi-sector group of stakeholders working to improve uh, population level outcomes. So examples might include an association working at the neighborhood level to reduce crime, a team working regionally to improve graduation rates, or a partnership working on lead abatement at the community level. Participants often come from different sectors of the community, including faith, business, social service organizations, health, media, government, law enforcement, and education. These same multi-sector groups are often also called coalitions, alliances, councils, and of course, partnerships. So one of the primary objectives of our World Health Organization Collaborating Center is to expand the evidence base for collaborative action, people working in partnership to bring about improvement on community-determined issues and goals. For instance, we are a scientific partner in a national healthy communities study involving 120 communities, examining what intensity or dose of community change is related to improvements in uh, rates of childhood obesity. In a different study, we recently collaborated with the World Health Organization Regional Afris Office of Africa to examine what dose of community and system change was associated with bending the curve in Ebola response rates in two counties in Liberia. Our team's experience over the past 40 years shows us that whether near or far, the work of people taking action in communities to improve outcomes share many similarities. So what do these groups have in common? Well, the groups depicting, depicted here, such as uh, Healthy People, which is working together to improve health outcomes for the nation, uh, Charter for Compassion International, which is working to build a grassroots movement for compassionate communities globally, and the World Health Organization, which is working to make improvements on social determinants of health. These groups all have huge and lofty aspirations. And they also have the problem of needing to build capacity at scale to make a difference on these outcomes that matter. So you are not alone in your aspiration to take action to lessen the gap between how things are and how we aspire for them to be. Improving outcomes for all St. Louis youth, for all St. Louis residents, this is important work. And it is hard work, but the good news is that the capacities that are needed, these capacities are no, not unknown. Decades of work has been invested in distilling core competencies for what's needed for community work. Competencies include how to bring people together around issues that matter, how to assess what the community needs are, how to analyze the community problems in a deep way, how to come together to uh, bring about change and improvement by creating a strategic and action plans, how to build leadership, how to develop a successful intervention that's culturally and contextually appropriate, how to increase participation in community uh, uh, efforts, enhancing cultural competence, advocacy, policy development, uh, grant writing, and evaluation and sustainability of these efforts. 
this screenshot is a uh, one page of the 7,000 page resource of the community toolbox. Um, and this is illustrative in um, the kind of guidance that's available. This is a toolkit on developing strategic and action plans. And so it contains an outline for key activities involved with bringing a group together and working on a strategic and action plan with links into detailed how-to guidance. By clicking on the examples tab, you can find examples of strategic plans that have been developed for different issues at different levels in different contexts, including different cultural contexts and different levels of resources available. And the aim is really for these examples to help folks see how others have taken action. There's also a guidance available on common barriers in this work. The troubleshooting guides provide support in doing a situation assessment for common problems encountered in this kind of effort. For example, this offers guidance and reflection questions and links to more supports um, when, when considering how to face uh, opposition and conflict. We're learning that there is broad demand for these types of resources for community improvement efforts. Last year alone, more than 5.8 million people um, visited the community toolbox from 230 countries. So what do these users, users tell us that they are looking for? They're looking for practical guidance. They have a goal, they have an issue they're wanting to work on, but they need a little bit of a how-to information to make that happen. They're looking for some just-in-time resources, maybe for a, a meeting that they're uh, going to be leading that following week. They're looking for resources for teaching and for training others. And they're wanting to learn from the work of other communities around the United States and around the globe. And of course, they're looking for inspiration and support for these efforts. Google Analytics, uh, which we study carefully, help us better understand where users are coming from and what resources they seek. So while there certainly are nuances in the materials accessed by country and sometimes even by city, by and large, we find a lot of generalization across settings for the type of help communities seek. Our most popular resources uh, include those on community assessment, determining what the community needs truly are and assets available for addressing those needs, strategic planning, coming together to create a shared vision that's large enough to bring people to the table, leadership and how to build local leadership for taking action, evaluation and how to show contribution of efforts to improvement and outcomes. Community partnerships around the US and around the world are working together to address wicked problems of our time. There are lessons to be learned from communities of people working together for improvement and hope to be gained in the many and diverse resources you have available here. Resources to create this meaningful change together. The work you envision improving outcomes for all St. Louis youth and residents. This work is incredibly important and potentially daunting work, but it can be done. Learning to build local skills and talent and learning to collectively work together is essential to success. Our call, the urgent call of the hour, is to create wicked solutions to these problems worth solving. Thank you.